This is a 27-year-old man who came in to us with problems of pain and stiffness in the elbow joint over the last three months. The patient has had an injury three months back but recovered significantly well. On x-ray, it looks pretty pristine. On CT scan, you can see a small loose body in the anterior compartment of the elbow. The other bones looked normal. The plan of arthroscopy was done and the patient taken up. On arthroscopy, a large loose body was discovered on the anterior compartment of the elbow joint. A second portal was made on the ulnar side and the loose body was grasped with an artery forceps and removed. This is my favorite instrument for loose body removal because the prescribed instrument of an arthroscopic grasper is often not strong enough to remove bony loose bodies. After removal of loose bodies, you can see the humerus on the left and muscles on the right hand side which is because the anterior capsule has been released and taken off to take care of the terminal stiffness and extension. At the end of loose body removal and removal of anterior capsule, you don't stop. You have to look at the rest of the elbow joint to see what other pathology remains which might contribute to the pain in the patient's elbow. Here in this case, there is a large area of chondral damage in the radial head and that needs to be addressed. Though there are many ways of doing a chondral damage treatment in the knee joint, my preferred treatment for the elbow is just abrasion plasty or chondroplasty as some other people would like to call it. We would like to use either a small curette or a small burr or a small shaver to take off all the loose areas of the cartilage in the radial head. There's not much damage on the humeral side, so that's not something which is going to give the patient too much of trouble in future. A 3.5 mm arthroscopic shaver is introduced and all loose pieces of cartilage is removed from the humeral head. You don't need to remove everything down to the bone. You only need to remove the loose pieces of cartilage which will cause impingement and pain. What is important that you leave behind significantly stable and good quality cartilage at the periphery of the lesion so that this lesion doesn't extend and causes too much of a complaint to the patient.